Sometimes using a power supply that connects to a wall outlet is better than using a battery. In this video I will show you how to make a power supply using transformer. Let's start the video. Here in India, a wall outlet gives around 230 volts at a frequency of 50 Hz. So it is not at all safe to use this voltage and connect to a small load. Never try to touch the output voltage wires. So what we need to do is use a transformer. A transformer transforms voltage. Here I have a transformer that transforms 230 volts AC to around 9 volts AC. Let's solder the 230 volts input wires. Use electrical tape to insulate the wires. Connect the plug to the wall outlet. Let's measure the voltage output. It is around 9 volts AC. So we get a safe voltage to work with. But there is another problem here. The output we got is alternating current. But we need direct current for small loads. To solve this, we can use a breeze rectifier. A breeze rectifier will rectify AC to DC. Breeze rectifier can be made using four diodes like this. This is the input voltage and this is the output voltage which is direct current. I am using a breeze rectifier package W10M which has the same four diodes inside. Ok so let's solder the 9 volt output of the transformer to the AC input of the breeze rectifier. Cut the extra wires. Now let's solder the DC output wires. I have already soldered a crocodile clip for each wire. Connect black wire to the negative terminal and white or red wire to the positive terminal. Solder each wires and cut the extra wires. To smooth out the DC voltage, let's use a capacitor at the output. This is a 1000 microfarad 25 volts electrolytic capacitor. Make sure you connect negative to negative and positive to positive. This image shows all the connections. Let's measure the output voltage using this voltmeter. It is showing around 11.8 volts. Let's test the power supply by connecting a motor. So the power supply works perfectly. Finally let's mount all these components in a cardboard.
so that's it insert the plug and turn the switch on this is a 12 volt DC motor now let's blow this LED up 